In this final section, we're supposed to find the domain of g of x. If we look at g of x, so we just drew in part b. If we look at this, then we just have to draw this domain. And remember what domain is. The domain is the set of all possible x values. I said all possible. I meant to say all possible. So if we think about all the possible x values, let's look at how this bad boy here is defined. It's only defined from x equals whatever this is. So that's at minus 1. Do you notice so? So we can say that there's a minus 1 here. And this is what we'll do. We're going to say it's defined from x equals minus 1 all the way up until right here, x equals 3. So it goes from minus 1 all the way up to 3. So what I do, I put in a minus 1, I put in a 3, I put my x in the middle. That's like saying x is between minus 1 and 3. I put my little alligators like this to tell me that x is bigger than one, minus 1, but it's less than 3. And i got to think, can it be equal to minus 1? Yes. Can it be equal to 3? Yes. So there we go. I've done my question. I've solved it completely. I hope you find that this question right here isn't so, so bad. Again, as long as you understand the stuff, it's a matter of decoding it. Um, and I do love this little meme here with this raccoon. I right? see it in grass paper. You must be plotting something. Ha ha. Well, there we go. So we made this question hopefully a little bit easier. And then we're ready to face some of the other ones.